Hello everyone and welcome to a new video in our IFS Cloud video series. My name is Marcel Aushan, I'm an IFS consultant and today I will show you how we do the link between our supplier that we just created in a previous video and the purchase part. Yeah, so this link is done in a screen that's called supplier for purchase part and I will show you exactly how to do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the system. So you remember last time in the previous video, we created a supplier. And if we go to the supplier in the purchase tab, we have for ease of use, yeah, we have already a link to the supplier for part page. So we can click here and then it will take us to the supplier for purchase part. Obviously it will do an implicit search for our supplier ID. It will find nothing. Yeah. Additionally, what other ways to get to this page is starting also from our purchase part. So if I type in purchase part in the navigator, I open the purchase part. We have our purchase part cube reaction pro automatically found. And also here in the top, we have a command button that will take us to the supplier for part yeah, and then we can create it from here or we can simply go to the supplier for purchase part uh, yeah, without the space in front yeah we can go to the supplier for purchase part or maybe some more advanced way of finding it yeah, usually you can search SFPP. I like to think about this as uh, using just the abbreviations. Yeah, SFPP. Yeah, I like to think about this as yeah, transaction codes in SAP, if you will. So once you are a power user, yeah, you can start yeah, using these really uh, these shortcuts. But now that we are at this page, uh, we can come to create the link between our supplier and the purchase part. So how do we do that? We just press the plus sign. Yeah, we make sure we have our site defaulted in which we created the um, inventory part and the purchase part. And then if we go into the list of values yeah, for the part, we just have one at the moment that we have created in this site. And the supplier is The supplier is cube Valheim. And we will say that this is active. And the next important uh, piece of information we need to provide in the system is the price. Yeah, so let's just say this is a 500 euros bicycle. And we can save it at this point. You will see a lot of different sections in the page that are collapsed yeah we can expand and have a look what they are yeah so we can see acquisition type again purchase only we just want to purchase it not rent it we can specify some country of origin yeah let's just say germany yeah we need to define it as a valid country of origin germany Okay, and then we can define some HSN codes or the processing types yeah, for supplier part information. If we know this information, we can specify what's the supplier part number, the part description from the supplier and so on. And all of this information will be printed on the purchase order layout so that the supplier sees exactly what they want, what we want to order by their part numbers, yeah, not ours. Yeah, then we can also set up some different unit of measure so we can purchase something in um, in a unit of measure but store in our inventory in a different unit of measure and this as i mentioned also in the sales part creation it's very common for businesses in us and europe for example yeah so in two different um, zones on the globe um, because they have different units of measure. So if some company in US is purchasing uh, something in pounds, it's storing in pounds, but they will be purchasing, for example, something from a European company in kilograms. 
Yeah, so their purchase unit of measure will be kilograms, but the unit of measure where they will store the um, the goods will be in pounds yeah, in their inventory. Order information here, we can set up different uh, parameters like minimum order quantity. Yeah, if we have an agreement with our customer, with our supplier that we need to minimally order, I don't know, five bicycles in this case, then we will get a warning in our purchase order line if we put a quantity less than five. Yeah, standard multiple quantity. So if we buy in batches, like, I don't know, their packaging is 10 bicycles, standard then yeah we can order multiples of standard multiple quantity and yeah, we can even use some packing instructions and so on but for us um, yeah we can even set up some manufacturing lead time for the supplier yeah so in this case this is important in calculating the lead time yeah, so that the system will suggest the appropriate time when we need to order so that we get the goods on time, the bicycle on time for our to meet the customer demand, customer wanted delivery date. Yeah, then we have the pricing. We just specified the price. Um, and then when we go to inspection info tab here, we can specify how do we want to to receive this bicycle in our warehouse yeah we can receive directly into the arrival zone we can even receive directly into our inventory so directly on the shelves where we can pick for customer orders for example or yeah different cases we can even inspect yeah, receive into arrival inspect at arrival zone or receive in arrival inspect at the quality assurance yeah so all of this will trigger different ways of processing the receipt yeah, some are very simple, like receive into inventory. You just say receive it, put a default location for the part, and that's that. Those pieces could be used for other processes, for reservation on the customer orders, for example. But you can have more complex receiving processes where you first want to receive the bike, the bicycle in a rival zone. And then somebody needs to move it to the QA zone, so the quality assurance zone and you need to inspect the full quality the full quantity or you can inspect or you can inspect just the sample yeah so there are different uh, options here but for our purpose we will say receive into arrival and then we will move it into stock manually Yeah, so cancel edit. I don't want to change anything from here. We can even define moving forward. We can even define a price list. Yeah, so with minimum quantities, let's say uh, if we want to buy minimum 10 bicycles, then we get a discount of 20%, for example, for this. Yeah? But there will be a separate detailed video on how to manage um, supplier pricing because on one hand, you have the price here, price information in the general tab, you have the price in the price list. You can also have supplier agreements. Yeah, so we will have a look at this more in details in a separate video. Yeah. You can even define some manufacturers for this, uh, this product. Of course, in our case, the supplier is also the manufacturer, but it could be different. You know, we can define some consignment we can have some consignment stock for this i won't go into details yeah again we can define some additional charges that will be defaulted on the po as soon as we create a purchase order line for this product and similar to the supplier we can also define some delivery overheads for this specific part yeah so that it will increase the cost of uh, this part in our inventory okay Good. And right now uh, we managed to have a supplier for purchase part created. Yeah, So we link the purchase part with our supplier. It's in active status. And at this moment we can, we are all set to be able to create a purchase order to, for this supplier and add the purchase order line for this part inside the PO. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, have a good rest of the day and stay safe. Till next time. Bye.